Hi everyone! Welcome to our journey into the world of chemistry, where we zoom in and discover what everything around us is actually made of. From the air you breathe, to the Nasi Lemak you mock on this morning, all of it is made up of matter. Yes, your desk, the water you drink, even your body, everything around us is made of matter. In this lesson, we're going to explore how matter is classified and why that's important in chemistry. So, what exactly is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. That means anything you can touch, see, or even smell is made of matter. And it comes in three forms. Solid, like your textbook. Liquid, like the water in your bottle. Gas, like the oxygen you're breathing. From your body to your smartphone, if it's real and takes up space, it's matter. Now let's break matter down further. Chemists group matter into three main categories. Elements, pure substances made of only one type of atom. Compounds, pure substances made of two or more elements chemically bonded. Mixtures, physical combinations of substances, not chemically bonded. Learning to tell them apart will help you understand everything else in chemistry. Trust me, if you get this, you're already ahead. Before we dive deeper into those three types, here's a quick overview of the basic structure of matter. Elements are the simplest substances, made of only one type of atom. They can't be broken down chemically into anything simpler. You can find all known elements in the periodic table, it's like a chemistry map. And elements are either metals or non-metals, depending on their properties. Simple, right? Once you understand elements, the rest falls into place. Before we dive deeper into those three types, here's a quick overview of the basic structure of matter. Elements are the simplest substances, made of only one type of atom. They can't be broken down chemically into anything simpler. You can find all known elements in the periodic table, it's like a chemistry map. And elements are either metals or non-metals, depending on their properties. Simple, right? Once you understand elements, the rest falls into place. Here are a few examples. Oxygen, O2, a non-metal gas you need to stay alive. Hydrogen, H2, the lightest element, used in rocket fuel. Gold, AU, a shiny metal, used in jewelry. Iron, FE, a strong metal, used in construction and cars. Each of these is made from only one kind of atom, that's what makes them elements. Next, we have compounds. These are substances formed when two or more elements are chemically bonded. You can't just filter or boil a compound to split it. You need a chemical reaction to break the bonds. Also, compounds have totally different properties from the elements they're made of. Let's look at water, H2O. It's made of hydrogen and oxygen, both gases, but water is a liquid and essential for life. You can't just breathe in H2 and O2 and expect to stay hydrated. Another one is carbon dioxide, CO2. It has oxygen in it, but you can't breathe CO2 to stay alive, you'll suffocate. That's how different a compound can be from its elements. Now, let's talk about mixtures. Mixtures are combinations of elements and or compounds that are not chemically bonded. They're just physically mixed. This means you can separate them using physical methods like filtration, distillation, or evaporation. Here's where it gets interesting. Most of the substances we come across in daily life are mixtures. Air, a mixture of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Salt water, just salt and water physically mixed. In mixtures, each substance keeps its original properties. Salt still tastes salty, even when mixed in water. Let's wrap up with a quick summary. Matter is anything with mass and volume. Pure substances include elements and compounds. Mixtures are just physical combos of substances. Even though mixtures aren't a big deal in SPM exams, they're super important in real life because most things we deal with daily, yup, they're mixtures. So don't just memorize, understand. 
Chemistry is all around you, your food, your breath, even the soap in your bathroom. Now go out there and observe the world like a real chemist. Goodbye, and thank you for watching.